टू दू वेलकम बैक टू आर सत्र सीरीज वेर वी आर पिकिंग आउट प्रीवियस इयर क्वेश्चन एंड डिस्कसिंग द इन डिटेल्स ऑफ वाई एंड हाउ ऑफ दैट क्वेश्चन अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट वी डिस्कस द टॉपिक इन डिटेल सो दैट वी आर वेल अवेयर वेन यू पी एस सी आस्क अमिलर और रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस टॉपिक वी आर एबल टू सॉल्व द आंसर्स एंड एंड गेट द आंसर्स फॉर द सेम क्वेश्चन Now coming to this topic, biofilm. UPSC is unique from all other forms of exam. Why? Because UPSC is not asking you some question out of the blue. It is not dropping you with facts to mug up, to cram up. It is asking you questions from simple life, day-to-day -day observation. It is seeing. It is trying to test aspirants if they are aware. enough of what is happening around them if they are seeing and analyzing in their head that why this thing is happening and what is this phenomenon this is all the questions of upsc especially in environment and science and technology are related to again for polity for economics and everything you have questions which are more related to the static portion but here questions are mostly based on awareness of your surroundings Now see this very plain question which came in 2022. This question was on biofilms. Biofilms can form on medical implants with human tissues. Biofilms can form on food and food processing services, and they can exhibit antibiotic resistance. Now, what are biofilms? Are we seeing it in our everyday life? The answer is yes. Now, if we leave a water. suppose at at punch we take a glass of water and leave it overnight we are leaving this glass of water overnight all right and then when we empty the contents of the water all right empty the contents of this glass then on the surface of the glass we find a slimy residue suppose you have buckets in your washrooms which are left overnight with a little bit of water you will find some kind of a scummy substance on the walls of the container okay now you may say that this is something which has accumulated from before or something like that but even if you make this septic and sterile a septic and sterile if you cleanse the glass completely sterilize it and free it of all microorganisms possible even then if you leave it overnight it is going to form a kind of a thin layer on the surface of the glass and this is what is a biofilm now as usual we are going to break these words what is the meaning of bio there is involvement of some biological organism what is a film a film is a laminated covering of any surface so biofilms are biological arg organisms which are forming a kind of a layering a lamination over any surface that we talk about so this is what a plain idea of a biofilm is now the word used is bio which means numerous kinds of biological organism which have the capabilities to colonize that place will be accumulated all right so therefore it could be composed of bacteria fungi or protists protists could be chlamydiomyces and all these things sorry chlamydiomyces the plants protists could be paramecium fungi we know so many fungi is bacteria anyway there are numerous bacteria uh, we could take for example we could take salmonella but again these names are not very important from upsc perspective unless and until there is some running news or some running debate about the microorganism the genetic names the scientific names of microorganisms do not form a part of our 
UPSC's interests. Okay, I won't say it's not a part of our syllabus. Yes, it is a part of our syllabus, but UPSC doesn't seem interested if students are aware of the species name and the genus name of a random species. So that is not UPSC. UPSC is simply about knowledge and awareness. So these are the three organisms, kinds of organisms. Again, if there are other unicellular organisms which can form that film, I'll tell you the conditions which we need to form that film, then we can have these making biofilms. Now coming back to, we know what they are and how they are forming, what they can be composed of. Coming back to, what will lead to their growth? So like any other microorganism or like any other organism for that matter, you need a substrate, you need to feed on something and you need a wet, moist, wet or moist surface. Why? Because they need nourishment from somewhere and this nourishment will come only once you have a kind of a wet surface because they have to intercommunicate amongst one another. They cannot intercommunicate without a proper medium. They cannot exchange their nutrients, their nourishment without a existence of a proper substrate. And that is why a wet surface or a lightly moist surface is required. Okay. This could be, this could even happen underwater, on the surface of water or outside water. But outside water, it needs a moist medium. Coming back to time, there should be a factor of time involved. Why? What will happen in this time? So now each microorganism, they secrete a kind of a monomer on their extracellular surface. Okay, they form a monomer, they are able to release a monomer. What is a monomer? A monomer could be either a peptide, it could be an amide, it could be a sugar, peptide that is protein, it could be an amide. So all these are what? These are biomolecules. Okay, so the extracellular surface of the microorganism is secreting some form of monomer which could be sugars that is carbohydrate which could be proteins or which could be amides which could be lipid molecules so these monomers released from the extracellular surface they are the ones which are forming the connecting media and they will soon form chain reactions and this monomer gets converted into a polymer. So mono is one and poly is many. So now the extracellular monomers will link and form a chain. They will hold hands and they will form a chain and they are able to form an extracellular polymeric substrate. Now when the, the many bacteria or the many microorganisms could be protists, when they reconnect with one another using chains, this kind is known as a polymeric chain and a chain reaction is happening here. When they start interlinking, once that is instigated and they start interlinking, that then they will form this film like structure which is hardened also at times. So if there is exposure of some form of calcium carbonate to this biofilm, then it may harden and what you do get is that hardened calculus over the surface. 
that happens sometimes and it needs a long period a prolonged period of time to harden but the non hardened film can be created as much as under 2 minutes within 2 minutes a biofilm is started to generate already on any disinfected or antiseptic surface all right not antiseptic surface per, uh, per se but something which has been disinfected of all microorganisms even then when exposed to even the minutest amount of moisture it will start to create this reaction and this whole chain is what we call a biofilm now first thing we did was they could be bacteria they could be fungi and they could be protists now fungi we know one very nice fungi penicillin alexander fleming started penis discovered penicillin now what if the constituting microorganisms in this film are actually molecules of penicillin are actually organisms called penicillin what will be the property of this biofilm it will be antimicrobial because penicillin is in itself is an antimicrobial drug which means it will have antibacterial properties so it is very much possible because microorganisms themselves can be antimicrobials therefore a biofilm can also be antimicrobial what are the surfaces they can colonize upon they can colonize upon any surface exposed to little to little amount of moisture this is what will form a biofilm coming back to the question can form on medical implants with human tissues they can form anywhere now upsc is already giving you hints can initially upsc had this tendency of leaving behind hints upsc has stopped it to a certain extent now although still the answer does have loaded hints to figure out the answer but this kind of things have been eliminated by upsc from this year onwards 2023 onwards but this can kind of statements are already giving you a hint that they are correct because in biology in science and technology or when we are talking about upcoming technologies upsc is generally never say never attitude because it will generally find something which will have a more diverse application or in which research is due and eventually we will come up with something which will fulfill those conditions coming back to can form on medical implants with human tissues of course they can because human tissues have excellent substrates each microorganism is going to have a nice party when they come to a human tissue so yes that is possible can be formed on food and food processing surfaces as i said below it can form on all surfaces which have any exposure to any form of moisture and they can exhibit antibiotic resistance yes we spoke about penicillin so the answer here should be d but we are not worried about the answer we are worried about understanding the concept and i hope you all have all understood the concept thanks for watching